Hi, my name is Vinny Moano, and I'm here to show you how I edit photos of love. Let's get to it. Well, the first thing I do is select photos. I take a lot of photos during these like engagement shots or wedding shots. And so here I am just selecting photos in Lightroom. I'm just filtering through, there's a lot of good ones. And what I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for action shots. As a mover and a filmmaker and a storyteller, I'm looking for photos that convey a story. Photos that can be posted on a billboard in Times Square or photos that can just be posted in a wall, in a room where people are looking at it saying, wow, like, I wish I was there. Or, oh, look at this love story. So that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, this was this photos were taken on a Sony A7R Mark IV. Yeah, as I'm going filtering through, then I hate that I was cutting off his head because this would have been a good shot. Maybe I can just select it, import. That's cute. Yeah, that's a cute one. That's a cute one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Both smiling. That's a good one. I'm using flash as I was taking photos. Oh, his head's still cut off. This is good. She's smiling. He's smiling too. Oh, that would have been a good one. This is a good one. Oh, look at them celebrating. Yeah, look at this. This is a cute one. <laughs> That's cute. I'm gonna stop saying the word, the word cute. I like this one. They're serious. I shot all these photos in raw. I think I'm gonna keep this sequence of kissing. I'm gonna keep all these. It can be turned into like a little graphic. The difference flash makes, if you're trying to get good, good photos, please, have an external flash. Um, the one that just gets connected to your camera. It makes life a little bit easier that way. You don't have to crank up your eyes. So I like that photo. That one's good. I always get asked, how do you know what, which photos to select? Honestly? Oh, that's it. The, the answer is you just get a feeling, like I know what I'm looking for. And I remember moments when they really just enjoy them, each other. And so those are the moments I'm looking for, like right here. That's a good one. You can do something with that. Yeah, flash would have helped for the shots. Oh, I like this, Look, it's just looking down. They're both looking down. It's a cute one. Her eyes are not that cute in this shot, but I'm gonna use this one instead. This one's good. That one's good, yeah, ready. Perfect. All right, let's import it. And then now we get to actually edit the photos. I am not gonna edit all the photos. I'm gonna choose my two favorite to edit in this video or else you'd be staying with me for hours and hours and hours and hours. Maybe just like one hour, but who has, who has time for that? However, if you want to look at me edit for an hour, just comment below. I might do a video just for those people. All right, let me choose the one that I wanna to choose to edit. 
I like this one. Because I shot this in RAW, I can go back and bring back the information from the shot. So they're, over, they're blown out here, overexposed. Let's bring that on the highlights. Ooh, look at that, look at that. But then I'm losing her white dress. Like I'm losing that white shark from her dress. So what I'll do is I'm going to click on this little button here up top. I'm gonna select the subject. Select them, nice. And then, see that they're selected. That's them selected. I'm gonna bring on the highlight. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna bring on the highlight. Let's bring on the contrast a little bit. There we go. Oh no, I wanna bring up the contrast. That looks good to me. And then I'm gonna bring down the highlights here. There we go, look at that. All the information saved. Yeah, I do like that shot. Let's uh, make the windows less of, less taking up attention, less attention grabbing. Because the sun was blazing outside when I took this photo. So zoom in. Too much. I always will say this, that if you take a good photo, if it's composed well, your job is pretty much done. All you gotta do is just go through and do minor tweaks. There we go. Bring in that highlight. That's too much because you can see it. It's like someone went through and tried to turn off the lights. Nope, that's not what I want. I want it to be nice and subtle. Shadows. Whites, that's good, I like that one. Let me... I'm clicking Option, and that allows me to erase the mask, because I don't want, the windows are not, the, the window base wasn't dirty. I'm gonna wipe this over here. I'm just clicking the Option button. If you're using a Mac, option button is by your um, command button. Just hold the option key and you should be good. If you're using a PC, the option button should be by your um, your Windows button. Undo that. I love this. And also, I like to do this. I like to make photos in black and white, see how it looks. Um, there's also profiles you can select from. Like this is cute. It's not really my taste of things. Autistic. Okay, well, I'm gonna bring it back to color. Sorry, take away black and white. I don't want it to be auto. Undo, undo, booyah. Just got my shadows up, got my blacks here. There's also, an, there's also an HDR mode. I'm not really big into HDR mode, um, especially when they're wearing white, it just looks off. But even though this is bringing back the information of white on, the, on a dress, I don't like it. Okay, great. So let's go back to her dress and I wanna fix, I wanna fix that highlight. There we go. Contrast, looks good to me. Now for the special touch. Yeah, I love this. Let's add a preset to it. I know that his, his face is kind of, is blown out. There's a lot of highlights here that are blown out. I'm gonna fix that. But let's go to highlights. Um, I'm a big believer in film stock preset. I tend to like I have a lot of them, but you can't see in this in this um in this platform of Lightroom because I ended up deleting a lot of them because I realized that why should I have all these presets that I never use? So my go-to presets are Fuji and film stock and sometimes analog, depends on the image 
look that I'm, get, I'm going for. I love fashion shots, so a lot of the analog shots kind of get used during my fashion photography shots. Film stock, I love the film stock. It just gives me the base of what I'm working with, what I like to work with, and then from there, I get to have a, a good photo that I can bring, out the, bring down the amount of the preset that's applied within the shot. Don't like any of these. They're a little just too much. But if I apply and bring it down here, it doesn't do what I want to do. So I'm going to I'm gonna go back to the editing room. Let's do undo. Let's do undo. Great. This looks good for me. Let me I'll remove the chronic chromatic aberration and enable the profile correction. I'm going to do a, nope, I don't want to do a box. I want to do a brush. There it is. In his face. You bring down the highlight. There it is better. And Let's go to HDR. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of HDR. Yeah, I, I, I do like this shot. One thing I'm gonna do is I wanna bring down the, con, bring up the contrast. I wanna separate the background, there we go. The background, let's bring down exposure. There we go. Bring, bring down the highlights a little bit. There we go. I like, I don't like that part of her dress as being, being, um, put as the background. So I'm gonna click Alt. I'm gonna delete this one. What I'll do is I'm gonna keep this how it is, like this. I like it. Let's bring down the exposure, sorry, the texture, bring up the clarity a little bit. I like this happy photo. All right, last photo, if I'm gonna edit. I'm looking for a photo that stands out to me. Ooh, I like this one. Let's go back a little bit. I like this. I like how he's not in focus as much as she is. I like those type of shots. <laughs> Let's capture one that is that screams love. I think we're gonna go back to the kissing one. All right, the kissing one. Let's find a good one. I like this one. This one's cute. This one's cute. This is love. This is a love one. This is a better one. There it is. All right, I'm gonna start a little bit different. Let's start with the preset first. Fuji look, got this presets over in Vento. I'm gonna click on the film look and I'm gonna choose, let me see. I'm 
I'm not a big fan of the trash can in the back, so I'm gonna have to crop that out. Like the retro one. Oh, the black and white. That's cute. Let's go with this one. I like the the softness of the image. How I made the image pretty soft. Let's crop this out like right here. Yep. Maybe even like right over here. Nice. Let's bring this here. Perfect. What happens if we keep it and I'm trying and I'll mask out the, um, the trash. See what happens. The healing tool. I know I'm not in Photoshop. Don't know how good it's going to do, but let's see how Premiere does it. Premiere. Sorry. The Lightroom. Let's see. Ooh. That looks bad. <laughs> oh, it's, it's stuck. It's frozen. It's stuck. It's stuck. Let's delete this. I know in Photoshop I can do some magic, um, but for right now we're sticking to Premiere. I'm going to crop it right here. This is nice. All right, um, let's bring the highlights down a little bit. I still want her dress to pop. So let's do this. Let's bring the highlights down. Bring the shadows down a little bit. Let's select them. Subject. Let's bring the highlights up. There we go for them. Contrast. A little more contrast in there. This is nice. What I want to do is I want to uh, brush tool. Select this. Flowers, I'm gonna bring the contrast down for the flowers. There we go. I like this a lot. Um, his suit, I have to bring the blacks down a little bit, up a little bit. Yeah, up a little bit, the blacks up a little bit. There we go. Cause his, his suit is black, black. That's better, that's better. Let's bring up the saturation. Vibrancy up, saturation down. The contrast for me is a little too much in this one. So let's select them, bring the, the contrast is up a little bit. Yeah, like that. There we go. Let's figure out the background. Let's bring it down a little bit, the exposure down, highlights, exposure. So shadows, the lights up. Yeah, I do like that. I like how her dress is, is like popping a little bit. Like, you know, it's, what do you call it? It's just glowing. This photo here, I'm going because they're a little bit, we're not really in sharp. So I'm going to bring the sharpness up, the texture. There we go. So that's too much. It's a little bit. There we go. I like this a lot. Let's make sure this photo is balanced. There we go. We'll go down to enable, um, remove chromatic vibration. There we go. That's the shot. All right. So this is before and this is after, before and after. I can picture this photo on a magazine. It's like, get your next, I don't know your next wedding shot or whatever it could be. I see that there's lots of like, there's just a lot of exposure here. So maybe I want to bring this down here because it's a little bit too much. Similar to with the flowers, bring the highlights down. Not too much. I have to remove the whites. Not, oh, there it is. Shadows are do it. Shadows are do it. Shadows is doing a better job, but not too much. There we go. Because we can still tell it's her dress. Yeah, it just needs more detail. So here, there we go. I see it. 
I see where he's telling me there's a lot of lights, and so it's more so the blacks, which I'm fine with the background not being so crushed. There we go. Um, this histogram helps me a lot. I want it to pop a little bit. Yeah, I want it to pop. I'm going to go back, bring down the exposure. There we go. Yeah, I'm really liking this look. It's just different. Even when I go here with the uh, saturation is good. Did he answer? Cool. All right, that's it. Um, hope you like this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Remember, keep editing, keep sharing your process because any video you create, anything you share is going to help another person understand and be more excited about entering into their own creative process and sharing more workout. We're only good as our last project. All right, keep growing, keep taking photos, and I'll see you next one.